Tradition is a big part of what Thanksgiving is all about, and today we're going to show you how to put a twist on some classic side dishes. I'm back with food writer and party planner Jen Presserata. Hello, Jen. Welcome Hi. back to the show. Thank you. What a lovely setup you have here for Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Uh, so tell us about some of your traditions. Sure. Well, turkey, sure, it's turkey day. It's a big <laughs> thing. But to be honest, I'm a sides girl. I like the fun ways that you can do things, twist it up, mm -hmm. make it a little different, and you can really access it to all your guests so that it's something for everybody. You really can only do turkey so many ways, right? Really, exactly. So sides you can do a million different ways, different dietary restrictions, and fun for all ages. All right, well, what'd you bring? Well, over here, um, all the way on the left, we have orange scented cranberry sauce. This is so cute. You're serving the cranberry sauce. Yeah, serving it in orange. Well, what I like to do is this way the guests can understand what, what it is without even having to explain it. They know that it has some orange in it because it's served in the orange wrap. Ah. Um, they're not all going to be the same size. That's okay. But we hollow it out like I did here. And then on the bottom, I cut it a little bit flat oh, so, it stays so that flat. it'll stay flat. Um, and put a little orange on the sunshine. Should I fill this? Like to fill. Sure. Did you know that cranberry sauce does not just come out of a can? That's something that not everybody knows. <laughs> it doesn't have to be jello for him with the, the ring molds from the People can. People really like that though. So that they weather do guy like I work it. with in the morning really loves it. This is uh, the very simple to do though. <laughs> the recipe's on my site. That's jen.com. So make it yourself. That is adorable and it won't get in the way of anything else on your plate. Exactly. So I like part it. of the thing with Thanksgiving, whether you do buffet style or you're sitting down, mm -hmm. is you want to sit and eat. So it's the most frustrating thing when you sit and you take a bite and you're mid, mid to <laughs> mid bite and so can you please pass the... So this way it's something easy. They can just take it themselves. It's right there. Or if it's buffet style keeps the line moving and right. keep it on your plate. Um, down here to the left, this is Aunt Fanny's squash castle. Now, who the heck is Aunt Fanny? So this is a funny story. <laughs> so uh, growing up, uh, two of my great aunts, my Aunt Cheryl and my Aunt Joyce, always made this casserole for different holidays. It was my favorite thing. And finally, years later, I was wondering, is Aunt Fanny still with us? I would love to <laughs> who meet is Aunt her. Fanny? Who is this Aunt Fanny? I'd like to know my relatives. And when I asked my mom, she had a good laugh. Aunt Fanny is the name of a restaurant from Georgia in the 1940s, and this oh. was one of their signature dishes. So I see. she's not even related, but we will, she you know, we feel like she's part of us now. So Very, now how do you make the squash casserole? So the squash casserole, it's a yellow squash, mm -hmm. and even though it's summer squash, it's good this time of year, and it has some um, butter in it. But you can also use margarine or make it parv. So if you have a kosher family or if you're mm -hmm. vegan, um, it has cracker crumbs on top and some good sautéed onion. I feel like anything with Ritz crackers on top so is going to be delicious. Absolutely, and the recipe's <laughs> on my site as well. Okay. Um, up front, so a class classic staple for Thanksgiving, for sure, is green bean casserole. So what I've done here is I've given it a modern facelift, sure. and I've done green bean fries. I've coated them in that crispy, crunchy fried onions that yes. we love on top that some people just swoop by and eat anyway. <laughs> and since it's typically made in a cream of mushroom soup, I made a creme fraiche dipping sauce with truffle oil to get Ooh. that mushroom taste. So it's a little bit, a little sophisticated. How creative. A little grown up. Thank you. I so like that. Something fun and it's a good, easy thing to pass around if you have it in a martini glass. Um, so here we have sweet potato boats. Um, a lot of people do sweet potato casserole with marshmallows. Mm. This again, it's easy portion, grab and go. Um, and you can do a little bar like this, like I've done here with the different toppings. These are so cute. These, these are, how cute are these? These are gingerbread marshmallows. They look like little gingerbread men and they taste like gingerbread. And we've done pineapple. Here I've done one with both, one with just marshmallow, pineapple, one plain, so that you want to give something an option for everyone. Sure. Um, normally I would warm it and melt the mar marshmallows uh -huh. and you could crisp them under the broiler and you can leave it out like this as well so that your guests can make their own and if Easy. they want to melt it. I so, like and if it. you want to fill one you can if you feel feeling yeah, creative. We'll um, and I'll tell that. you about this. This is my sweet and spicy roasted butternut squash. So it's another good vegetarian side. It's very hard. It has um, crispy uh, red onions in it and some pepper for spice and then a little bit of honey or agave syrup drizzled on top Ooh. so it's got that sweet and spicy thing. Very nice. Um, and up front here is pumpkin pie bread. So Ooh. pumpkin pie, now, How does that course, differ from the regular pumpkin bread? It has a little bit more moistness to it okay. and it's a little bit more cake-like. Pumpkin pie, of course, is a very popular dessert for Thanksgiving. Why wait till dessert? <laughs> Have a little something sweet. And I like, again, the individual serving. Of course. So that just makes it easier to take. And speaking of individual servings, yes. these are stuffing cupcakes with a uh, mashed potato frosting. So on it's top. like regular stuffing. It's it regular stuffing. Put it in a cupcake tin. I or? put it in a cupcake tin uh -huh. and baked it, and then I used. Um, I made my own piping bag. So it's literally just the plastic bag. Uh -huh. You fill it with your mashed potatoes. You want to clip the top, uh, the bottom, make a tip. You'll roll it, and then you'll be able to squeeze out and pipe it out. So. 
You can have these on here. I displayed them on a cake plate just what for a, great you know, idea. a little nod to what it is. But again, you know, stuffing and mashed potatoes are great, but people's eyes are bigger than their stomachs. There's so That's much true. to choose from. They pile it on. It all goes to waste. So this is great. It's fun for kids. Yeah. It's easy. It doesn't run into everything else on That's your true. plate. It's true. It'd be good with leftovers too, right? Definitely go with leftovers. And you can garnish it with a cranberry or cranberry sauce or get creative. But I've done here some fried leeks. And I made some corn, um, and it's it's dark, but it's actually not burnt. It's actually crisp and caramelized because when you put it in the pan, I put the top on, mm -hmm. and it literally makes popped corn. So oh. you literally watch it explode, <laughs> and it, so I just saute it in a little olive oil and salt and pepper. So that's a fun topping for this, or just a good, very good. kind of separate. Now we thing. have to wish you a happy anniversary on your blog. It's oh, been a thank year. It's been a whole year, so I've been very excited to be a guest on here for such a long time yeah. and to be what making can we so find many recipes on your blog. So many fun things. <laughs> There's uh, lots of recipes, as you've seen. Like like you'll see here. Mm -hmm. um, they're all with step-by-step -step photos, so it's really easy to understand. There's restaurant reviews mm -hmm. and chef interviews and food-related events that I might cover. And it's all just stories from the heart. It's it's food as related to life. So everything I do, um, there's always a fun story to tell. And so. the site, one more time? That's so Jen.com. Very good. All right. Thank you for all the ideas and happy Thanksgiving Thank to you. Thank you. You too. All right. Up next, Nashville artist Marla Morris performs over on Stage 8. Don't go anywhere.